Unshakable confidence. Dating advice. Hi guys, my name is Christine. I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about unshakable confidence when you are dating. So basically what I wanna to talk to you today about is the abundance mindset. Because if you don't feel confident on dates, if you don't feel confident in general when it comes to you know the sex that you're interested in, if you're not feeling confident and you feel like perhaps you may rush into things and fall in love too quickly, and you basically just have this general unconfidence when it comes to the people that you really like, it might be the case that sometimes you pin your hopes too much on just one person. Um, and because you're pinning your hopes on just one person, you don't have an abundance mindset, you have a scarcity mindset. And basically, if you have a scarcity mindset, then you're gonna pin your hopes on that one person. You're gonna feel really attached to people. You're gonna feel unconfident because you don't have that many prospects. So basically, um, to give you like a, an analogy about this kind of thing, imagine that, and you might already be like this anyway, but imagine that you know a lot of people want to employ you. Imagine that there's a lot of people out there that want to employ you. Now this gives you choices. It's like, well, if you're looking for a job and you've got like five companies that want to, you know, potentially hire you, then you're not going to feel as, you know, you you got a choice there. You're like, you don't feel as um, desperate. Whereas if you've only got one employer that wants to employ you, you're going to feel a lot more desperate to get that job because that's the only lead you've got. That's the only one that you've got. It's the only place that wants you. So if you kind of use that and you kind of think of like that as well as dating, you know, if you've only got one girl or one guy that um, is digging you, that um, is saying yes to going out with you, you're going to feel more desperate towards that person because they're the only one. They're the only one that's dating you. Whereas if you've got you know other people that you're dating, other people that you're talking to, um, then you know you've got potentially there, you know a lot more abundance. And because you've got a lot more abundance of people that you could potentially date, you won't feel as attached. They might be sure, you know, there might be some of them that you prefer. There might be one that you prefer and hope that it works out with. And you may be talking to a bunch of other guys or girls um, as well. Um, but if you've got other people to fall back on, if there are other options in the mix, then that's a lot better for you. You know, that really is a lot better for you. And you won't feel as unconfident. You'll feel a lot more relaxed and you won't end up making mistakes. So when you do actually start dating someone you really like, don't stop talking to the other people, the other girls or guys that you may be speaking to. Don't do that. Because um, if you just like, oh yeah, this is the one, you know, straight away, um, and you don't, you, know, you haven't got to a point yet where you're exclusive, where you're actually in a relationship with them, then, you know, you should carry on dating the other people. Um, it's only when, you know, you, things are really starting to look serious that you should drop the other people that you're kind of talking to or were talking to or were dating. Um, don't do that until you're in a relationship. Don't do that until things are starting to look really, really serious for you. So if you do have more of an abundance mindset, then you're gonna make less mistakes because if you have a scarcity mindset and you're pinning all your hopes are basically on this one person and you're really, really afraid of losing them. So for example, let's say you might feel like you haven't had a date in a long time and you finally get someone to say yes to you. So let's say you go on a date with someone and this is the first person that you've been out on a date with in a long time. You're gonna have the scarcity mindset in that because this is the first date you've had in a long time and this is the first person that said yes to you. Um, so of course you're gonna have like a really big scarcity mindset. So, you know, it's good to, you know, make sure that you keep on date, keep on talking to other people, you know, as well, because even if this is the only person that's, you know, just said yes to you and going on a date with you, you don't wanna wind up making mistakes. So you wanna feel like there is more abundance out there for you. Now, um, it might be the case that this you, you don't li you literally don't have any other options. And you know, sometimes that is the case. Sometimes you can, it's kind of weird. Like sometimes when you date one person, like a lot of other people come, a lot of other people stay around and start coming into your life. Whereas when you're single and you're not dating, there seems to be no one, especially when you're looking. But when you find one, usually others crop up. It's really weird how like the, the world and the universe works like that. But anyway, if you only do literally have one person, 
that um, is seeing you right now. Then the only thing that you can really fall back on here is, um, you know, obviously developing your confidence perhaps in other ways because that can sometimes help. So usually if you become really confident in one area, it usually spreads into other areas of well, as well. So, you know, if you are really successful in your career, then, and you feel confident in your career, then that may help, you know, with your overall confidence. And basically what you want to kind of do is even if you're like, you know, thinking right now, like, well, um, yeah, I'm confident in my career, but I'm not confident when I'm on a date with a girl. It's like, well, yeah, but can you kind of like transfer that confidence into, you know, when you're on that date, which I know can be difficult, but you know, this was something that really helped me. You know, I just, when I was feeling unconfident on dates, when I was in the dating world, I would think of areas that I was confident in. And then I would kind of, um, kind of put myself in the state of mind that I was in as, as if I was in that place where I'm feeling confident, if that kind of makes sense. Instead of focusing so much on my nerves and all that kind of thing, um, and being too worried, like I would kind of remind myself, kind of give myself a little bit of a pep talk that, um, I'm good in, I'm good at this area. I'm successful in this area. I'm really happy with this area of my life. You know, there's no reason for me to not be confident. I have all these other things going for me. There's no reason for me to feel like how I'm feeling. There's no reason for me to act and behave desperately because um, I have abundance in other areas. I'm not desperate in a lot of areas of my life. So there's no reason for me to feel desperate now. There's no reason for me to be acting this way. It's either gonna work out or it's not. You know, that's a good mindset to have when you're on a date with someone. It's either gonna work out or it's not. And even if it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter because, you know, there's plenty of people out there. There's plenty of people out there in the world. And this was really, really difficult for me because when I was dating, obviously I'm a lesbian, so I was dating other women. And our dating pool is even smaller than the heterosexual pool. So there's only so many people I could date. You know, there's, there's, there's a limited amount basically in my area. Um, so I really had like this really like bad mindset of, oh my God, there's there's not many other girls like me. There's not many other lesbians. There's not many other bi girls or, or things like that that would date me. And I was really, really worried about that. But when I started having more of an abundance mindset, like, well, is that true? Just because they're not on Tinder doesn't mean that they're not in the area. You know, perhaps I should download a different dating app. Perhaps there'll be more there. You know, I started to see things a lot differently. I started to have more of an abundance mindset because at that point I was in a scarcity mindset and that's probably one of the things that made me come across as more desperate and more needy. So, you know, I started to develop a more abundance mindset thinking there, you know, I just kept on saying to myself, there are plenty of girls out there. There are plenty of other lesbians out there. There are plenty of other bi girls out there that could date me, you know? And if you're heterosexual watching this and you feel like there's not enough people for you to date, your dating pool is a way bigger than mine. There are literally way more people out there that you could date than I could date right? So you have lots of abundance, but I know it can sometimes not seem that way if you've had a bit of a, a dry spell, shall we say, and there hasn't been that many people. But believe me, once you start shifting your mindset to a more of an abundance mindset, you will start to see more abundance. Um, it's kind of like how we kind of think, it's kind of, it kind of really plays a part in this, and how we kind of see the world from our own perception plays a lot into this. And the reason why it does is because usually if you are focused on something, like if you're focused on scarcity, that's kind of like all you're gonna see. Whereas if you're focused on abundance, that's all you're gonna see. You know, what you put your attention on, you get more of. It's kind of like when you um, buy something new, let's say like you buy a car. Um, you know, at the beginning, you know, you, you, you never saw those cars, but once you get the car, once you're driving the car, you start to see those kinds of cars everywhere because, simply because, um, you have decided it's more important to you now. Your brain is focusing on it now. And because your brain wasn't focused on that kind of car, that kind of color car before, now you start to see it everywhere because now your attention is simply on it. So just shifting your mindset from scarcity to abundance like there are plenty of women out there for me today there are plenty of guys out there for me today you know just keep on affirming that to yourself you know and start believing it because there are there are plenty of people out there in the world for you and all it takes is just a shift in that perception and you'll start to see it you'll start to believe it and it will start to manifest around you in a way. Another thing as well is that, you know, confidence does, you know, come and go. Like you, you're not gonna be confident 100% of the time. 
There are gonna be dates where you're less confident than others. You may go on a date with someone and you're really confident um, and then there may be a date down the road where you're not as confident um, and you don't feel confident. So just know that kind of confidence is a bit of an ebb and flow. You're probably not always gonna be on the same line, the same stage. Um, you're not always gonna be at the same point, basically. Um, so don't worry too much if you do have a date and you don't feel very confident because usually, you know, sometimes we just feel more confident than others some days and it's just how we are sometimes. You know, it's, it's like you have good, bas- good days and you have bad days. You know, in a given week, there are days where I feel absolutely phenomenal and there are other days where I feel sort of tired. You know, I had that kind of day today. I had a day today where I felt kind of really exhausted and I didn't feel really like, you know, doing my videos and doing my daily tasks, but I still did because... Obviously, I know that I, I kind of need to do this kind of thing and this is my job and I'm privileged that this is my job. I kind of can't take for granted, you know, the blessings that I have and this has definitely been a blessing for me. Um, I try not to take it for granted at all. Um, so that's something else, you know, you know you, you're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days, you're going to have days where you're not feeling up to it, you're going to have days where you don't feel confident, you're going to have days where you feel more nervous than others. And you just got to realize that it's just one of those mysteries of life, you know, and it's just something that happens sometimes. And, uh, you know, don't try to fight against it. Just allow yourself to think, well, today I'm not having a very confident day, but I'm going to try my best. And as long as you try your best to remain calm, to remain confident when you go on a date, it shouldn't be too much of a disaster. In fact, it probably won't be a disaster. It'll probably go along a lot better than what you think, because we usually, you know, if things seem a lot worse in our imagination than what they actually are in reality, you know, if you go on a date with someone and you think you're really bad, it probably didn't go as half as bad as what you think or thought it did. All right. Anyway, if you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye, guys.